Se è ancora a scuola eh, mi chiedo mi chiedo cosa ne dovremmo fare dalla sua so, so, so. se volessi andare al tipo questo insieme al solo mi sentirei di disagio ok andiamo anche lui devo fare questo ma non posso salvare scusate no non possiamo salvare eh vabbè All right, that was a great performance by the dance. Everybody give them another round of applause. <sighs> oh, sorry. I was just worried about the whole thing with the catchy coon. We're gonna be okay, right? <laughs> it actually feels like that's the truth when you say it. And now it's time for your favorite shooting tradition! The student sharing special! Round of applause, everyone! <sighs> They're really doing this again this year? I guess this disorder really makes the post-festival party what it is. How about... the girl in the hoodie with the super bleached hair? Huh? Me? Well then, come on up! <laughs> what should I do? Povera piccola, scappiamo. Sta, cam sta chiamando te. Porca miseria. Riesco quasi a vederle. Riesco quasi a vedere. Ce l'hai il ragazzo? Così. Now this is drama! A boy caught in the throes of bitter sweet youth! A stunning confession of love! Oh way to go! I think it was him! Hold on a sec! So to come! What's your relation to this guy? Huh? My, she's right as a beat! <laughs> Over. Uh, that was embarrassing. I can't believe you had the courage to stand up and say that in front of everyone. Uh, 
huh? So you did it to help me. At any rate, I had really frozen up for a second there. So, thanks. You were a huge help. You know, you're actually a pretty dependable guy. I think we'll be good together. Uh, ignore that. <laughs> Talking about the future, that's a bit too heavy for right now. <laughs> Niente affatto, dai, fammi provare. No, voglio fare la sposta giusta. I'm still worried about a catchy gun. But this post festival party actually turned out pretty fun. I um I want you to have this. Bella, vigna la panna di N. Vedo l'ora di papparle. I hope you like it. Sposta giusta. Wanna head home together? Eh. Welcome home. You took off somewhere during the festival, huh? I tried to find you, but I gave up pretty quickly. Daba? What are you doing here in front of the store? I needed to calm my brain. My thoughts were getting out of hand. Not just Akechi, but other stuff too. We're in deep trouble unless we can do something soon. But anyway, I was just thinking about going inside, so your timing is perfect. Mm -hmm. Eh, c'è un bel po' di cose da fare, eh? The mass media has been causing quite a commotion lately. No countermeasure for the phantom thieves, the sorry state of the police, destruction of safety. They're saying whatever they want. So, how's the investigation progressing? Any clues yet? Nothing that leads to a firm conviction yet. What's going on here? Didn't you say that you were sure about closing this case? And I thought I told you that failure won't be tolerated. <laughs> well, this is troublesome. If things continue at this rate, never mind a promotion. We'd have to let you go entirely. But sir... I had high expectations for you. But it seems this task was too much to handle for someone so young. We may need to reform the operation as well, since the selected personnel for this... Please, let me see this through to the end. This case is something that I've always... I know that you've been at this for a while now, even before the police spared us the staff for it. If you can manage an arrest, I've made special arrangements so that you can question them personally. That's what you want, isn't it? The leadership of this country is about to change. We can't let this case carry over into their term. I'll make myself clear again. Failure isn't an option. We need results. I understand. You're allowed to take some bold measures if you need to. We need good results, no matter what. Oh, one more thing. If the unexpected happens to occur, contact me immediately. To you, sir? I said that failure isn't an option, didn't I? Everything is proceeding as planned. Do you want to cheer me? We're home. 
Sojiro? I was cleaning up and found this. <gasps> this is a calling card, right? I read about it online, too. So you went into my room without my permission? I'll apologize as much as you want later. So, what is this? That's... Is it something to get flustered over? I knew it. This isn't just some game you're playing. Why aren't you saying anything? Why did you keep it? I mean, it was memorable. Explain. Explain. Can't tell me? Ex hey, if this keeps up, Futaba's... I'm talking to Futaba here, you know. No. I'll get right to the point. Is this a real one? Did they trigger a change of heart in you? <laughs> How about it? Ever since Mom died, I... There was n no exit. I was trapped in, in a labyrinth of my heart. I knew I had to leave it, but I, I couldn't do it by myself. Futaba. Here, sit down. I can at least listen to what you have to say. The Phantom Thieves saved me. They stole my messed up heart. It's the same as Mom's research. They changed my cognition. <laughs> Seriously? <sighs> Lokaba's research about altering one's cognition. I wondered about it myself, too, but still. When she said she was going to go to the beach out of nowhere, and even the doctors had thrown in the towel. First, I just chalked it up as other kids being a better support for you than any adult. But as I kept watching the tabloid shows here, day in and day out, a thought crossed my mind. I thought, your case kind of seemed similar to what these phantom thieves were doing. Wow! I'm still your guardian, you know. I'd never overlook such a drastic change in your behavior. Sojiro. But to think that Wakaba's research and the Phantom Thieves changing hearts were about the same thing. <sighs> Back in the day, I used to be a government official. My job was to be the bridge between the country and the lab that Wakaba worked at. It's around that time that I got to know her. She said something odd when we were out drinking. That one of these days, she might die a bizarre death. Who wouldn't take that as a joke? I just laughed it off. But it happened exactly as she said. If anything were to happen to you, I'd feel like I let her down. There's something I want to ask you. Judging from your attitude, you knew about this calling card, didn't you? You should have known that Futaba had a change of heart through the Phantom Thieves as well. Is there a connection between you and them? The first incident of a change of heart was a teacher at your school. The kid who brought that painting here was a pupil of that artist who had a change of heart, wasn't he? And then, there's Futaba. You always seem to be linked to these incidents somehow. You know what people call them? Criminals. 
Why did you introduce such dangerous people to Futaba? That's not true! I asked them! That's why he saved me! He stole my heart! Asked? Stole? <gasps> uh. Wait, are you saying that he's the one who changed your heart? Wait, he doesn't just deal with the Phantom Thieves, he's actually one of them? <laughs> You're pulling my leg, aren't you? Are you serious? You really are a Phantom Thief? Oh, for crying out loud! Sojiro! So, basically, I've been sheltering a phantom thief for the last six months. And on top of that, Futaba's involved too. What the hell? I... I want to find the culprit who killed my mom. Wait, it killed? She... She was killed. I... remember it now. Stop this nonsense! Why won't you believe me? Are you the same as everyone else? Didn't you know already? The way mom died wasn't normal! Didn't you notice that her research was stolen by someone? Sojiro! When she passed away, I did think it was odd. It was awfully fishy. But what could I do? All I was able to do was run from it all. Run away, hide, and end up here as some old guy running a cafe. To be frank, I took you in for my own good. Like it'd somehow make up for what I'd done. It's basically my fault that you got burdened with all this crap. It's not your fault, Sojiro. I acted all big, lectured, even yelled at you kids. And I end up getting consoled by her. God. I mean, the one who killed Mom's the one at fault! <sighs> I see. Don't worry. Even if you are the real Phantom Thieves, I have no intention of reporting or kicking you out. I mean, who would believe such a story? Unless they catch you red-handed, it's impossible to explain that you're the Phantom Thieves. Let me just say one thing, though. Immediately back out of a fight that you can't win. Don't you get it? If, by chance, you pissed off the same guys that killed Wakaba, then they're not someone that kids like you can deal with. Listen to reason, all right? We're done talking about this. Come on, time to eat. All that yelling's gotten me hungry. If he turned us in, that would have jeopardized our operation. Still, we should tell the others about what just happened. Oh, I'm tired. Okay. Gonna win, no map. Sorry. Allora, continueremo nel prossimo video. Ciao a tutti.